intermediate tarot lessons let's talk about movement and how cards interact with each other via movement now we have several different types of movement let's look at the first type which is active versus passive movement so let's start out with kind of an overview of the movement here we have a movement of a guy with maybe some friends some family uh, someone close to him moving away from something towards a better happier place so let's say you have someone in a relationship and they're trying to get out of it uh, it looks like they're trying to get away from the relationship and over to uh, somewhere you know more stable somewhere where their friends are supportive and things like this you have definite movement towards a goal this is active movement they're trying to move towards a better place here you have another example of active movement he is moving away from something which doesn't look like it's very good because it's a dark card uh, it's very dreary it looks bad he's moving away from that towards somewhere where it looks like he has a little more power over the situation so here you have a guy he has all the swords he has all the power he has all the toys it could be moving away from old habits, maybe old objects, old things, uh, hobbies that he had before, and over to something where he has more power. Maybe it's a new hobby. Maybe it's the elimination of this hobby gives him so much free time that he has more power over himself. He has the ability to be a leader in his friends and work, uh, things like this. So there you have a definite sense of movement from one thing to the next. Here again, you have a very active movement. You have the Knight of Swords. Uh, it's very thinking, uh, not emotional, but a thinking, kind of a, a troublesome card. He's moving very quickly. This is a very active movement towards somewhere more stable where you have a, like a family situation or a mentor or gifts or something like this. So you have a very, very active movement it looks very determined movement towards something that's a little brighter a little better and also if you look it's a little more stable as well you have flowers you have a home and a castle here and what he's moving away from just seems like a big open land um, you know it, it, very windy type of situation so maybe coming from something that's very very active to something that's a little more stable a little more calm somewhere where he has a support group and things like this so here you have another definitive active movement stage again here we have another movement towards it maybe change or a dramatic type of change here we have someone moving away from uh, what looks like a bad situation what looks kind of desperate uh, it doesn't look well at all it looks like you have some sort of an injuries or things like this and they want to move towards a drastic change sometimes you're in a situation where you don't have any other options other than change because you can't really go any more rock bottom than you currently are so here we have a movement towards a drastic change this is a purposeful active movement you can actually see the guy on the left here he's looking up towards the tower like almost like he's just ready for the tower i mean you have a definite card interaction here and you have an active movement so let's look at some more this could be active it could be passive i'm going to consider all these on the top row here passive here we have someone that's very successful it looks like they're having a good time and they're moving towards some place with a little more serenity in it uh, a little more calmness where they can just kind of regroup uh, look at what they have and just get uh, more centered so sometimes let's say somebody asks you about a hobby they started a hobby they got really successful at it maybe too successful it's bringing a lot of stress in their life it's eliminating a lot of their free time it looks like you have sort of a passive movement the horse is just kind of moseying along i mean it's obviously not as active a movement as the knight but it's more of a passive movement the guy's just kind of in for the ride through the success and over to somewhere where he can regroup uh, take what he has and just kind of you know settle down a little more and just kind of be more in a defensive posture rather than an active successful posture again you have a question of maybe relationships relationship really well but I'm kind of concerned about it uh, the guys you know really wants to move forward a little too much it's a great relationship but I'm just having kind of a doubt uh, my you know my sixth sense is just kind of going off on this 
you could have a situation like that where you are moving from a successful uh, relationship that's going really well and you're just not sure of it you want to go back into the defensive posture kind of regroup and find out if this relationship is really what you want so here you have a, an example of a, a passive kind of movement uh, a passive kind of movement is um, could also be like you know when you were a kid and you get in trouble with like your parents and they tell you to come here and you don't want to come here because you know you're in trouble you know something bad is going to happen but you have to go so that's more of a passive movement here also you have what could what could be a kind of a passive movement here he's not really paying attention to where he's going it's more of a passive style to me than an active style so you have a passive movement of you know here's all my stuff I have all these things and I'm happy about it but I'm moving away from the situation to where I have all these things to somewhere where I have maybe less things but more of a relationship based so maybe someone has been you know collecting something over the years and he's been a little too concerned about collecting or a little too concerned about the process of you know doing what he does maybe collecting stuff at work maybe collecting stuff uh, as a hobby and he wants to move some more over towards a less materialistic type of thing to where he has more of a relationship with maybe his family his friends or the girl that he just met so maybe he's moving away from I mean, you remember like the 40-year-old virgin where he has all these toys and he has to end up selling them, you know, in order to get the love that he wants from this uh, woman. So, I mean, this is kind of the same situation here, but it's more of a passive movement. It's not really a, you know, he's not like running very fast towards this. It's more of a, you know, I, a hesitation. I have all these things. All this stuff is, is great. I really like, you know, what I'm doing. Maybe I have all this work that I enjoy. I have all this time, overtime I'm putting into work. But I need to put less overtime in work in order to get serious with this relationship that I started. Because she's not going to be hanging around if I'm working 15 hours a day, even on weekends at work. So maybe I have to give up some of that. Maybe I have to do that. And that's more of a passive situation. I really don't want to give up that situ uh, that type of thing in order to get the love relationship but i know i need it so it's not really a very very active movement like you're going to have with the night but it's more of a slow deliberate type of movement with a lot of hesitation again this is passive movement towards another situation now here we have the wheel of fortune i consider the wheel of fortune as movement because uh, the wheel is spinning and in many cards the people are falling off of it and things like this so you do have the wheel is sort of a cyclic type card. Uh, it's a card to where uh, changes occur. I mean, it's a card where a lot of things do, you know, what they do. So the wheel of fortune, I think, is considered movement, but it's considered more of a passive movement. And here you see the wheel of fortune. So uh, trying to get off the cyclic, um, you know, type of things that you've been doing, uh, the everyday type of hobbies, the everyday type of uh, things that you do, and move towards something that's more of a rebirth here with the judgment card. Some place to where you can kind of uh, have a lot of change, have a lot of good things happen, you know, as far as rebirth is concerned, and get off the cycles that you've been on. So if someone has a question about relationships and they have a potential relationship here, I would say that you do have a lot of uh, relationships that you get into are the same relationships over and over, and you kind of need to move away from that type of relationship into something that's going to help you grow, that's something that's going to kind of give you a rebirth. So the relationship style, the relationship patterns that you had in the past, you need to give up some of that in order, the cyclic nature of that, in order to get this newfound uh, rebirth of a relationship and get serious about what you're going to do so but this is sort of an, a passive movement as well it's hard to get rid of the cyclic type things and move towards something else so this is, this is going to be a lot of hesitation it's going to be a slow deliberate movement again you're not going to have the knight of swords you're going to go yeah i need to get rid of all the things that i've learned in relationships and all the things that i've been doing in relationships and move towards this new beginning you know just, people just don't do that it's hard to get rid of old habits it's hard to get rid of the thoughts that you have and the expectations that you have and the patterns that you've developed over your lifetime of relationships so this is going to be more of a passive type movement so here we have another what I consider a passive movement and this is someone that's overburdened with all the stuff of their life and overburdened with maybe chores, hobbies, uh, work or whatever and they're trying to move towards something more stable and it's like the other cards that we have uh, here you have you know the 
the knight of swords with this very active movement towards something more stable, something with a home or whatever. But here we have less of a active movement and more of a hesitation type movement, a slow movement. He's not going to move that quickly from one situation to the next because he's overburdened. He's going to have to get rid of a lot of the burden in order to move. And he's already moving towards here where the family. And you can see these people are like waiting for him. They're cheering for him. And he's trying to get there. And you can see the house in the background is going to be, end up being, you know, part of the settlement here. And he's moving towards this. It's just uh, there is a movement. But it is going to be a passive type movement. It's not going to be as quick and as agile movement as you have in some of these other situations. So this is the difference between active versus passive. An active movement is where you're purposely going there, where you're purposely guiding yourself there, like in this card. He has control over this situation. He's purposely gotten in the boat with his friends, family, relationships, or whatever, and he's grabbed the stick, and he's launched off the dock, and he's heading somewhere. This is a purposeful, active movement. This is a purposeful, active movement. You can see that he's decided to get rid of the old situations that he's had. Purposeful, very active. But again, you have passive up here. This is more passive, this is more passive, and this is more of a passive type of situation. So just remember that when you have movement, there's a lot of different types of movements. This is just one of the movements, and again, active versus passive. Now, the next thing I want to cover is towards versus away, all right? So you have here, if you just switch the cards, now he's moving away which is very important and a big difference between this. So he's moving now away from a situation where he's been defensive uh, and he wants to be successful. It's, it's a situation to where he went from being successful to being defensive. Now he's moving away from being defensive and towards being successful. And if you use a lot of that um, in these situations, you'll kind of understand if you just flip the cards. And here we have someone that's moving away from drastic change. Maybe they've had too much drastic changes in their life, and they don't want that much drastic change anymore. And this is a situation where they're moving away from the change. Maybe the change just happened, and now they need to move away from it and get away from it a little bit uh, in order to do that. Now here we have a situation where the knight is moving rapidly away from maybe a mentor, maybe a family situation. Maybe his family is a little too uh, obtrusive in his life. Maybe this family situation is a little too much. They're a little too active in his life. The mentor is a little too active and he wants to get away from that. He wants to be free. Here we have, uh, you know, the, the swords are conflict and thought and things like that. He wants to get into the open road. He wants to get away from that situation. So here you have a movement away from instead of towards, which totally changes the meaning of the movement. So here we have, we switch these and we have two people moving away from each other. We have a situation where a guy is moving away from an old situation and another guy is moving away from him. So you have two people kind of separating from each other. So this is a very important distinction from when the cards were in the other order. Now again, here you have someone moving away from a maybe a friendship situation or maybe a relationship situation. You could have this person, this guy's in a relationship with a woman and her, her friend is just a little too invasive, a little too intrusive in the relationship, uh, getting a little too involved. Maybe the guy's in a threesome, I mean, who knows? But you have a group of people and he's moving away from that. And he doesn't look like he's happy to move away from that because maybe it was a good situation. Maybe he really loved the girl, but his friend is so her friend is so intrusive. Maybe he hit on the friend and the friend the relationship didn't go well, and he's trying to get away from all that. So he's grabbing the friends that he has, he's grabbing the stable relationships that he has, and he's moving away from that situation. So let's look at one more example of moving away instead of moving towards. Here we have a very stable love relationship, maybe a new relationship, and he's moving away from it. He's moving away from it with something. Maybe he uh, get, learned all that he needed to learn from these people and he needs to get away. Maybe it was a relationship, but it was gonna go bad and he saw it was gonna go bad, so he's grabbing his stuff and he's getting away from the relationship. Either way, you can see he's getting away. Not only is he getting away, but he's looking back at the relationship and he's smiling because he's glad to get away. This is a person that's happy, 
to be on the move and away from this. So this becomes, instead of maybe a passive movement towards something, it's now an active movement away, or it could be a passive. It depends on the question, it depends on the situation. So again, we have a total change of context, but we have card interactions where cards are moving towards each other, or cards are moving away from each other. And it's a very important distinction to see the difference between movement away, movement towards, and active movement, and passive movement. So that's uh, part one of like five, based upon movement of cards and card interactions. This was Intermediate Intuitive Tarot, part two.